What I understood is that uh, I want to ride in a general sense, you know. I grew up in the mountain and I used to do a lot of skiing, snowboarding and obviously mountain biking during the summer. I was never very far from Andorra because part of my family is from Ariège, which is like, uh, well, it's at the border, basically. Um, so at least, even when I was young, we used to come from time to time and, uh, and it was next door. As a young engineer, the, at least from my side, coming from where I come from, wearing a suit and going to work in big city was out of the question, so I really had two options. Uh, and I could have worked for a big car manufacturer, which project was interesting. But when I got the confirmation that I could come to Andorra and enter the cycling industry, it's a no-brainer. Right now we are finishing the design, engineering and the testing, like prototyping of the flagship of the brand, of PP, uh, the number five. For the last three years roughly, it's not that we disappeared from the radar, but uh, we uh, merged with the uh, Forestal Group and uh, it gave us an awesome opportunity to build our own factoring for both brands, of course, and uh, with the awesome target to make bikes in Andorra. So here we are, Forestal Group facility, home of uh, Forestal and production privé bikes. And we are at the metal floor. Uh, where we build an ecosystem to support the whole factory and to make steel and titanium bikes. Behind this new iteration of uh, Shan number no. 5, there is an extensive work being carried out by uh, uh, our team in CNC, also part of the robotics that goes behind, welding. It's really uh, outstanding the amount of work in a very short amount of time we had to, uh, to set up all the machinery and uh, the whole factory actually. This is the current version of the number five. Initially we started with uh, components like this and from the very beginning we uh, always wanted to uh, go a bit further in terms of uh, in terms of product and bring features, and uh, even from the most simplest things. And for example, the artwork, we want it to be functional. And uh, this is a quick example. But you have the stripes on the stem, the stripe on the handlebar. When you install the handlebar on the stem, the stripes align, and your uh, handlebar is centered. Yes, small details like that, and uh, that's the purpose of uh, production privé trying to bring uh, always a product that is legitimate, that brings something new. The, it's always been the case. And then we started with the, with the frames and the art tails. Here we have uh, one of the very first frames that have been produced. That's a bit of uh, the museum. <laughs> Look at that, it's full of dust. You can see the, the seat stay are flattened, also the chain stay are flattened. Uh, the heat treatment is different from uh, the seat stay to the chain stay, all for the sake of uh, providing a better vertical, uh, uh, let's say comfort, sort of uh, vertical grip. DNA of the Shan number five come from the hardtail philosophy, which are simple and fun bikes. Simple to ride, simple to understand, simple to maintain. 
and fun. More importantly, it's fun. It's a bike that has been designed for 90% of the enduro rider. We want to keep the same DNA for the bike. It's really important to, uh, to keep that simplicity, but obviously we want to increase the performance also. We are in the heart of uh, our welding facility. This is the, where the, the most productive processes are, are happening. And uh, that's no way that is in charge of it. He's our robot welding engineer. And now uh, we are finishing the, the last adjustment uh, for tack welding and the refining programs. So we are here at the production area and here stands behind me uh, the welding robot. We are using a cold method for welding. With this colder process you, can, you reduce the heated affected zone so you are keeping basically the maximum per mechanical properties of the heat-treated steel tubes. Right now we are working on the industrialization of the, all the process to make frames in Andorra. Oh Merlinos! Souris pour la caméra. Salut, ça va? Uh, Luis, hello Fabio. So uh, we are in the in the art of painting line, which is very warm by this season. Key uh, operating floor here. Uh, so here it does, it's where we are preparing the colors and also doing the, the decoding of the frame prior to uh, clear coating. You can find a lot of the artwork that we are doing for PP, but also for Estal. Actually, we have a full rack uh, prepared to do like color testing. So that gives us a lot of flexibility regarding uh, the, the range definition, like which kind of colors we're going to implement on which models. So this room is pressurized. So it's made to avoid dust to come inside. All the paintings and our processes are solvent free. We're using water-based paint, uh, which is uh, obviously uh, good for uh, for everybody. We are in the middle of the city, we don't want to contribute to any pollution. By the way, you have uh, titanium frames. This is uh, a Shanti eye. The frames originally comes with a Scott Bright finish, so it's very shiny, so to speak. And uh, actually, to make the artwork on the frame, we are going to play with textures with some blasting. So what we do is mask the area that we want to, uh, to draw, so to speak, and then we sunblast, and we have a very nice finish playing with matte and glossy. The bicycle industry is uh, really uh, driven by marketing. People usually think that steel is a quite uh, very niche product, but uh, I don't think it's quite accurate nor correct. There is the perception of people, but I think it's more like marketing driven for many, many years that stiff and light is good. But for me, at least from the kind of riding that we do, stiff and light doesn't mean it's a good bike. First, you need to talk about geometry. You need to talk about dynamic characteristic. That's first and foremost the, the, the most important things. Talking about weight. Oh yes, you can shave 100, 200, 300 grams, 400, half a kilo even. But if the bike doesn't have a, the right geometry, uh, doesn't have the, the good dynamic characteristics, either in terms of chassis or, or, or kinematics or suspension-wise, for example, well, it's a bad light and stiff bike. <laughs> it's still a bad bike. Nice. That's great. I like the volumes. 
Right now, uh, Bjorn is going to uh, machine the yoke that's going to be welded between uh, the left and the right side. The yoke is going to be fitted here, okay? And this is the, the right side and we are going to weld it. What you're seeing right now is part of the work we are carrying in order to uh, develop and industrialize, which is more important even, the new Shan number no. 5, the flagship of the brand. It's not a matter of discriminating what that material for another or saying that titanium is the best or carbon is the best. No, it's really uh, the kind of product where you want to reach. The work we've been able to do on the forestal bikes, for example. Actually, I'm really proud of what we've been able to achieve. But um, at the opposite, yes, we have another way of thinking about bikes, which is, okay, we can make a bike with this kind of material because we, we are digging into more that direction. And I think PP in that aspect answers a lot of needs that uh, some rider or customer might, might uh, have want, yes. So we are in the QC area, uh, and uh, here we, uh, we have uh, two different bikes, one Forestal, one PP, and it's the perfect opportunity to explain a little bit uh, the different philosophies that, uh, that lives under the same roof, which is, uh, which is awesome. You have Forestal, that is the premium brand, technologically oriented, pedal assisted. You cannot get any better at the market at the moment. You have the benefit of the power fully bike with a normal analog bike. Uh, and here you have the perfect example of a concept developed to its maximum with a carbon uh, light chassis, it's a very effective suspension, the powertrain co-developed by, uh, by us, the electronic developed internally. This kind of philosophy and this kind of product, or at least the way to design it, is also translatable uh, into a different kind of product. And that's what we are doing with PP also uh, since uh, more than 10 years now. This is a, a bag that is focused on the quality of, of, of riding more than anything and being more practical. We wanted simplicity, easy to maintain, easy to understand, predictable. Uh, the chassis needs to provide a very uh, comfortable, confident ride and uh, it needs to, to fit the riding that we are doing here in our, in our home, which are the, the Pyrenees. We took the challenge of designing the, the frame with uh, the right flex uh, and many, uh, many other features. These two concepts of the bike are made, we are pushed to the limit, and that's what we are doing here at Forestal Group. Uh, we had the visit of uh, Pao, our designer and he made some great proposals. I think we've seen five, we selected three, so, and uh, it's quite fun. Some are like super nice and sober, but there is one I, I really want to see the result because it can be, uh, can be quite outstanding. One of the most interesting things about Production Privé is creating the paintings. It all comes from a background of racing, Damien was always Porsche lover, so he was showing us many, many different cars that he loved, and it was easy to get the inspiration from that. The chosen theme was uh, the Porsche 934 by Yand, okay, that it's from the 1976, because it was quite iconic, this car. And we, we, and we generated a different treatment from, from what was used in the bike, but it's real recognizable and it looks fresh. La, la. <laughs> chula, no? This is what I was expecting. The colors are bright. We're gonna do some changes for mass production because creating these paintings for one frame it, it can be possible but mass production is a whole lot different world but it looks fresh or not for the new generation of uh, Shan number no. five we are we are looking at basically uh, making upgrades from a very uh, good basis that the uh, actual number no. five uh, was it means a more refinement in terms of performance and looks Still the custom-made tubing, upgraded, made on purpose, 
and also uh, a very new fancy swing arm, <laughs> which I hope everybody's going to like it. That's our third iteration, and that's going to be a, a really big leap. Of course, in terms of performance, but also, uh, more importantly, made here in Andorra, it's a major, major feature, but for the benefit of the product and the, and the rider. Things are getting like really, really interesting. We are testing our, our mass production tools, refining processes, and uh, now it's a matter of a few months before we start mass production for the new platform, the new number five. I like the aspect of creating, uh, believing in your the product that you are you're creating and trying to to share the, that passion. I think it's more related to that because you have a passion, you ride bikes or whatever is the, the, the vehicle, so to speak, and um, you want to create something and, uh, and share it with people. That's what it is. That was like the main goal.